Let us begin in the name of God Almighty, the most merciful the most compassionate. In this session, we will see how the concepts of constrained forces and equilibrium we have learned from our previous session, are useful in the static analysis of mechanisms. By applying the concepts of constraint forces and conditions of equilibrium we have seen so far, the static analysis of mechanisms can be carried out thoroughly. We will see about it in detail now. Consider a four-bar mechanism ABCD as shown in figure 1. Driving link CD is given a force of F Newton as shown. The task is to find the torque, T2, developed in the follower link AB. We know that each pin or hinge joint, will have a constraint force which is the resultant of horizontal and vertical constraint forces, that is FH and FV acting at it. Based on this, consider the FBD of link 2 or link AB. Link AB is a two force and torque member. Joints O and B will have constraint forces, one at each joint as they cannot translate in X and Y. At A, we have the resultant force F21, that is, restriction force acting on link 2 from link 1. Similarly at B, we have force F23, restriction on link 2 from link 3. Now consider the FBD of link 3, that is link BC, link BC is a two force member. Joints B and C will have constraint forces only, one at each joint as they cannot translate along X or Y. Consider the FBD of link 4, that is, link CD. Link CD is a three force member. It has two constrained forces at points C and D respectively and the applied force, F4. At this stage we have only identified and named constrained forces. Their magnitude, direction and sense are not known. From the FBDs, the constraint forces are identified for all the links. Link AD is ignored as it is a fixed link. The constraint forces F32 and F23 as well as F34 and F43 are counter forces. They are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. To know the directions and magnitude of constraint forces, we need to apply the rules of equilibrium. Start from the two-force member BC. Since BC is a two-force member, the two forces are to be equal, opposite and collinear for equilibrium. To be collinear, they should act along BC. Their sense is not known, at present, only the line of action is found as shown. Similarly to find the line of action of forces in link CD, the forces F34 and F43 are counter forces. Since the line of action of F34 is known, the counter force F43 will also be acting in the same angle but in the opposite sense. As it is a three force member, the forces should be concurrent. The intersection of line of action of forces F43 and F4 is found to be at O after extending them to meet. Joining the point of action of F41, that is point D with O will give the line of action of F41. Having found the line of action of constraint forces, now we need to know the magnitude of them. Let us consider the force or vector diagram of the forces F43, F4 and F41. Start drawing the vector diagram for F4 as it is completely known. Draw a line parallel to F4 to the length of FCM representing Fn, as F4 equals Fn given, from point 1 to pinus 2. Draw a line parallel to F43 from 2 and F41 from 1 to intersect at 3. Triangle 1 2 3 is the force polygon for forces acting on link 3, that is link CD, 
where line 1 2 equals to applied force F4, line 2 3 equals to constraint force F4 3 and line 3 1 represents constraint force F4 1. Since F4 3 is known, F3 4 can also be taken as equal to F4 3 as they are counter forces. Also F3 4 equals F3 2 as they are equal and opposite in the two force member BC to be in equilibrium. F3 2 equals F2 3 as they are counter forces and F2 3 equals F2 1 as they are to be equal and opposite in the two force torque member link AB. Now we need to find the torque of equilibrium T2 acting at the link 4. Draw a line parallel to F4 3 at point A representing the force F2 3 and another parallel line at point B for F2 1 and measure the perpendicular distance between them. Hence F2 3 into D equals T2, opposite to the sense of couple produced by forces F2 3 and F2 1. Now we are going to apply the concepts of constant forces and conditions of equilibrium to solve a problem. We have a 4 bar mechanism ABCD shown below, lengths of link AB equals 500 mm, link BC equals 660 mm, link CD equals 560 mm and link AD equals 1000 mm. An external force F4 is applied at point E, which is 375 mm from point D when measured along link CD as shown. We need to find the crank torque required at link AB, to keep the mechanism in static equilibrium. To solve the problem, first we need to draw the given mechanism to a particular scale, since we know how to draw a 4 bar mechanism. If the dimensions are given, the procedure is just shown. A scale of 1 is to 10 is adopted to draw the configuration diagram of given mechanism. This can be considered as step 0. Step 1 is to identify the forces acting on the links of mechanism given. For that, we need to draw the free body diagrams of each moving link. The fixed link can be ignored. Now we have to draw the free body diagrams of all moving links, that is for links 2, 3, and 4. We start with link 2. That is link AB we need to, to draw link AB in the same inclination of mechanism diagram, and at the same length. Since we know all the pin connected points will have a constraint force, at point A, we have a constraint force F2, 1, and at point B, another constraint force F2, 3. Also we need to show the torque to be developed at link AB, to keep the mechanism in equilibrium. So link AB is a two force and torque member. Next we have to draw the free body diagram of link 3, that is link BC. At point B we will have a constraint force F3, 2, and at point C another constraint force F3, 4. Therefore we can see link BC will be a two force member. Similarly draw the free body diagram of link CD at the same angle in the original mechanism. Point C will have a constraint force F4, 3, and point D will have a constraint force F4, 1. There is an applied force F4 at point E hence link CD will be 3 force member. From the free body diagrams, we have identified the forces acting on each link. After identifying the forces acting on the link, next step is to find the directions, 
that is the angles of line of action of the constraint forces by applying equilibrium conditions. In this step, we must always start with two force member. Here the only two force member is link BC the two forces F32 and F34 are to be equal, opposite, and, collinear for maintaining the equilibrium. To be collinear, they should act along link BC. Draw lines along BC from points B and C as shown. Moving to link CD, which is a three force member, the forces should be concurrent, that means they meet at a single point, O, oh, for equilibrium. Since the forces 3 4 of link BC and F4 3 are counter forces, draw line parallel to 3 4 from point C of link CD to represent F4 3. Extend the lines of action of F4 and F4 3 to meet line at point O, since the forces are concurrent. Joining the point of action of F41, that is point D, with point O will give the line of action of F41. For link AB, which is a two-force and torque member, force F23 of link AB and F32 of BC are counterforces. Draw a line parallel to F32 at point A for a two-force and torque member, the forces should be equal, parallel and opposite in sensor equilibrium. Hence F21 will be parallel to F23. The forces are identified in step 1 and their directions are found in the step 2. In step 3, we will find the magnitude and sense of unknown forces. At equilibrium, the force polygon drawn with the system of forces will be a closed one. Since all the angles of forces in the three force member link CD is known, we will start this step with link CD. Draw the force vector diagram of the forces F43, F4 and F41. Draw line 1 2, a line parallel to force F4 to the length of 6 cm representing 16 Newton, the given force. Draw a line parallel to F43 from point 2 and F41 from point 1 to intersect at point 3. Triangle 1 2 3 is the force diagram for link 3, CD, where line 1 2 equals to F4, line 2 3 equals to F4 3 and line 3 1 represents F4 1. Since F4 3 equals 2.5 cm, that is equals 25 Newton. F34 can also be taken as equal to F43 as they are counterforces. Also F34 equals F32 as they are equal and opposite in the two member BC to be in equilibrium. F32 equals F23 as they are counterforces. F23 equals F21 as they are to be equal and opposite in the two force torque member AB plus F43 equals minus F34 equals plus F32 equals minus F23 equals 25 Newton. Finally the step 4 is to find the torque for equilibrium draw lines parallel to F43 through point A and point B and measure the perpendicular distance T between them. Hence F23 into D equals torque T2, acting anti-clockwise, opposite to the sense of couple produced by forces F23 and F21. The magnitude of torque needed, is found to be 12.5 kN millimeters. Students are encouraged to solve problem 2, using the same methodology discussed in problem 1. In problems 1 and 2, we have mechanisms, where the external force is acting only on a single link. How will you analyze a mechanism, when it is acted on by external forces in all the links? This challenging task will be discussed in our next session. Till then. Take care and may peace be upon you.